Hey guys, Lelaine Art Geek here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is the weekend of Collective Con, which is going to be held here in Jacksonville at the Prime Osborne Convention Center in downtown. I'm very happy that this is a local con this time because I kind of need a break from traveling. <laughs> Even though next weekend I'm going to Florida Polycon, which is in Lakeland. Right after this convention, I am traveling again, so... That's just how it is. Yeah, I am very happy that it's local this time because as you can tell, I'm still at home. I'm very happy to just wake up from my house and head over to the convention without having to worry about hotel expenses. Um, that is the perks of having a local con. Compared to last year, I really hope that this time around it'll be better because if I remember correctly from last year's collective con, it didn't go the way that I wanted it to go. Like I didn't earn the amount of money that I wanted to earn. Unfortunately, that is just how Jacksonville cons are. So I hope that this weekend will be better. Unfortunately, I just don't have that high of an expectation. I think I said that in my Bold City con, uh, Bold City con vlog as well. So I'm just not, I wanted to give it another shot. I did want to give it another shot because it's local. I built, it's what could, what worse can happen? You know, like I, I feel that like the only thing I'm going to be losing out is my table cost and food, but hotel expenses are non-existent. I think I might just, you know, keep my head up for this and Hope for the best. I am completely ready by the way, um, so probably after this clip I will get coffee and head over to the convention. I do have to set up my prices and everything, but other than that I am completely set up. Yesterday was setting up day and I just focused on setting up. I wanted to vlog, but I got a little too distracted, so I just said, you know what, I'll just vlog tomorrow. And here we are, we're starting the vlog now and I hope that you guys will enjoy it. I hope it'll be enjoyable. One more thing actually, so this time around, we are doing a stamp rally and I haven't done a stamp rally before, so I'm very excited. It's going to be a Jujutsu Kaisen themed stamp rally. It'll be me and a couple of our other friends who are gonna be participating. So I hope that the stamp rally will increase sales. I heard from other artists that it does increase sales it does increase the engagement so I hope that it will help here. I'm very excited to finally participate in a stamp rally for the first time. I hope I get to participate in more. We'll see how this one goes for the first time but yes I will go ahead and get everything ready and situated and then I'll head over to the convention so I'll see you guys there. just got here to the table. Um, it's covered right now. I still have to unveil it and show you guys, but um, Ivan just gave me the stamp for the stamp rally. So I have a little sun because I feel like it matches the aesthetic of my business. Probably either now or later on today, I do want to show that uh, we are far away from the voice actors this time. We are on the other side of the convention. So last year we were right next to the voice actors. So that's why there's always like a crowd around our area, the artist alley, but now, we're all the way in the back, so we're probably not gonna get that many crowds over here today um, because it is a Friday. I'm not expecting it, but like, it's kind of a bummer because I really, really wanted to get that crowd here. It, that was the only good thing about last year was that because we were next to the voice actors, we got good foot traffic, I guess, but we'll see about this year. We need to be positive here. We need to be positive, but I'm gonna go unveil and show you guys what's different about the table, but Actually, no, there's a few things that's different about the table. There's one main thing that's different. So I'll show you guys when I unveil it. Just unveiled my booth. Um, it's pretty much the same as SwampCon. So nothing drastic has changed except my sticker display. So now it has a background according to my business colors. I'm not a big fan of the pink. I think I got a pink that's like really hot. So it's a lot brighter than like everything else on the display, but it works. So I have my stickers all organized. And what I actually did too was I decided to just set the stickers to the same price regardless of the size, just cause um, I realized that people 
have gotten a little bit confused about the pricing, so I kind of just set all of the stickers to $4 each, which is fine. I was kind of considering switching back to like the smaller sizes anyway, so it'll just be $4 period, three for 10. And when people understand that price, they immediately like to buy it because it's cheaper that way, so I might as well just keep it that way. But everything else I believe stayed the same. Um, I do have a few keychains that are sold out, but I just put in an order for them, so they will come back in stock, especially Gojo. Y'all buy me out on Gojo, but everything else pretty much did stay the same. Um, and I also have my portfolio out as well. Philip has the frame, so I don't have it with me, but I do have the portfolio, so I might as well show it off while I'm here today. I am ready for day one, which is a Friday. Here is the stamp rally card. So these are all the participating artists. And all you have to do is spend $10 with a Jujutsu Kaisen item as part of the order at any booth and collect all five stamps and you get a prize, which is gonna be a sticker pack of all of our designs. So I hope that this does well today and I'm very excited to finally start. People just started coming in. They are coming in through that door and there's an exit and an entrance over there with those doors. But what's nice about this spot is that I'm uh, right next to Elise. Hello! So she's here and she's killing it as well with her boo. Love that. So we're right next to each other and we have our stamp rally cards displayed too. I have to make a little sign, but yeah, people are coming in and out from over there and this is kind of what the area looks like in our row. Hopefully there will be enough people today. I know it's a Friday, so I'm not like concerned about if there's a crowd, but tomorrow will be the biggest giveaway for that. So we shall hope. Decent crowd, um, not too crowded though, but understandable for a Friday. There's actually more people on this side, I believe, but as already mentioned, most of them are towards the voice actors right now. Just wanted to share an update. There's already two people that participated in the stamp rally, so I'm very excited that this is finally working. Um, I still have to make a sign for it, but um, yeah, two people participated and I really hope that they complete it so that they can get the prize. But yes, that is the update. I'm really happy. I know I already showed off what the stamp rally card looks like, but we do have the prizes with us. So when you are done with the stamp rally, you do get this sticker prize. It's a sticker pack with all of our designs on it. So I actually have it all out here to show, but I'll list all of the artists' names at the bottom so that you guys can go ahead and check them out as well. This one is mine. I'm so happy with this Nanami drawing though. It came out wonderful as a sticker. But yeah, this is everything that you can get. I'm just so proud. I'm uh, First stamp rally, it just makes me emotional. This is amazing. Oh, I think it goes upside down, I'm sorry. There you go. You get all of these stickers when you complete it. She got it signed. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. I loved it. So we have someone who just completed the stamp rally, so he Ooh. gets a prize. I hope you enjoy. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Yay! It is day two of Collective Con. We are just walking around right now because I haven't had the chance to. Also, I apologize that I haven't vlogged as much yesterday because honestly, it was kind of slow and I don't want to keep like repeating myself in the vlog either. So hopefully today will be a little bit better and a little bit more eventful. I feel that I did make table back yesterday. I still have yet to count cash, morning, but, and now the announcement. <laughs> The rest of the attendees are in the interim tank. Sorry, sorry. 
But yeah, we are just walking around right now and kind of killing time before we have to start. But honestly, I don't think it'll be like a busy opening. We did have a rush yesterday, I will admit. We did have a rush, but it kind of faded out really quickly and it just stayed like dead the rest of the day so it was it was a letdown if I'm gonna be quite honest um, which is expected for this convention but it's fine I hope that today will be better and hopefully today I mean, will be better, a better Saturday than the Saturday last year but we are hoping and I will try to get a little bit more coverage and footage throughout the day today if that was a bad shot stop I Nelson's here stop. too And Philip is always here with me. <laughs> hello, hello. And of course, Marsh is here. <laughs> well, we're like looking at the um, D and D stuff right now. Lane, why Look are you stopping me? I'm supposed to be responsible with my money. Listen, you I'm not stopping you. Business, okay? I agree. You know what? I'll oh, look how cool this is. Oh, okay. And then, I'm then, glad they're going to a good And then the dice will come up. Cute. Look. Oh, no. That's cool. This is so cool. Not, not big enough for it to go like that. We have to fill it up. And I have a, a small one. I use for like the sleeve. Oh, you're the one that doesn't want to come to cons. So you're like, oh, it's not in Jacksonville. That's it. <laughs> this. Roll with adventure. I forgot her name, but look. That thing. <laughs> oh, I got a pretty dice set. That is... Looks like this. Ooh. Ooh, that is pretty. So pretty. It looks like I can eat it. That's mm. what you're supposed to do with dice. Mm, the yummy. crunching cat. And the, ooh, they're ooh. so liquidy. <laughs> so pretty. <laughs> and then as a freebie to anyone who watches Crit Roll Season 3. Smile die to ya. And that's my haul. There you go. For now. And it's only... 10 a.m. It has, it just... We haven't even opened yet. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Hi, hi. Hello, hello. I, Join I our have... stamp rally. <laughs> Join I was gonna like do a joke, but I honestly forgot what like joke I was gonna say. Hello. I actually don't think I showed off the badge at all. So this is what the exhibitor badge looks like. It is this, and then in the back has the event schedule and everything. And I think what they did la what they didn't do last year, what they did this year, is they made the branding on the lanyard as well. So I, I actually really like it because it kind of pulls everything together. I also want to update that I feel like this is just another Friday. It got faded really quickly with the crowd, and I think they're mainly in the voice actors, realistically. I did expect that, like I said, because we are put in the back, and the vendors, like the exhibitors, I'm sorry, and the voice actors are on that side. And so we're kind of just getting like the walkers, the people that are just looking. But we did make enough money to make back table. Kind of just giving about the sales so far. I think we did make back table and just a tiny bit more. But the rest of the day we will see and I'll check back when we have an update. I got this cardigan. Look at the sleeves. Look at this. And I love that they're pockets. And then I I just got this and I have been loving it already. So definitely follow Five Boos. Look at this. And is it gonna be cash or card? Cash perfect. And here you go. Out of 20, yes. I'll go ahead and get your chain. Six, here you go. You're all set. Thank you so much. Update time. It is 2 o'clock, 2.02. I really do feel that it's kind of the same as yesterday where there was a rush 
of people coming in in the morning and then slowly trickling down. And I feel like that is going to be the theme of this convention. The only good thing that has happened so far is I got this sweater, uh, cardigan actually, from Five Boos. So definitely uh, check them out. They are so nice. I actually got the last one. I got the last one. So I am very happy I did. I took the opportunity. Other than that, I still have to count my cash sales too, but no, I think I think I just made table back and just a tiny bit of profit. If you want like an idea of how my convention is going, so it could be worse. Um, it could be where I'm not making table at all. So I am grateful that I did get to this point uh, to where I was able to get table back. But obviously, it would be very nice to also get profit. Yeah, we'll keep updating throughout the day. We have about five-ish minutes left of the convention and. These aisles are completely empty. No one is here. So we're probably gonna pack it up and head on out. Because even after six, we have about 20 minutes until we actually need to leave, like all of us. So we might as well get to packing early. I'm very tired. I really want food and lie down. <laughs> Morning. It is day three of Collective Con and it is the last day of Collective Con as well. Just as the other few days, I'm not really having a high expectation for them um, or for this day specifically because it's a Sunday and I remember last year for Collective Con it was kind of slow for a Sunday too. So again, literally all three days I, d I really didn't have high expectations. So. It is what it is. At least I got my expenses back. Uh, I got table back and everything. So we are good. Um, exclusively on card, which is always a good thing because then you can see cash and the rest of your card payments as profit. So again, thank you guys for coming to my table um, these last few days. It really does mean a lot, especially if you're a Jack's local just like me, but <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna get the day going. I have breakfast and I might walk around a little bit but VIP is coming in, so we have to get everything situated by then, but we should be good. So yeah, day three. But yeah, like vinyling is um, really hard. <laughs> no, I no, completely understandable. You also did it for the grids too, right? Yeah. That's crazy. Look, we just saw this, but if someone were to steal her, uh, what do you call this? The square, square terminal. Square terminal. You read this at the bottom. Guys. Please don't steal other things and just in general, okay? Okay. <laughs> so, I did check my credit card sales. I still have yet to count, uh, count cash. I did learn that I earned a little bit more than I thought I would through credit card only. So I can imagine that the cash would probably be the same amount, if not maybe a little bit less. I'm going to estimate that I made about between 700 to 800 dollars this entire weekend which i really thought that it would be worse if i'm going to if i'm going to be quite honest i thought it was going to be worse but i'm actually really happy given that this is a local con and i mean i'm not happy with the table price i actually don't remember how much table was uh, i have to check but i'm not happy with it because i know it's like 
I know it's like in the 200s, so that's already down the drain, but everything else is profit. So I'm not, I am not complaining about it. I thought I did worse than last year, but I think I actually did a little bit better. We already have like the rest of the day to also figure that out too, because it just started. People are coming in really slow, really, really mellow, but yeah, I wanted to give that little update because I wanted to share that, you know, I thought I did the same as last year, but now I'm kind of doing the same, but again, slightly, slightly better. Okay, don't mind our slightly messy table at the moment, but update on the Jujutsu Kaisen Stamp Rally. So we did have a couple of people start this today as well, but unfortunately because of how slow this convention is, we still have a lot of the prizes here. I also have a bag of the prizes here as well, so I don't know what we're going to do after uh, this convention, what we're going to do with the stickers. We might just sell them as normal after the stamp rally, but I'm not entirely sure. But regardless, this was really fun and I'm really glad that we were able to arrange something like this for this convention and I definitely, definitely want to do more in the future. I'm behind Elise's table right now and I am next to the aisle here. Uh, but yeah, she had to be right back so I'm looking after the table right now. I do like her setup because she has the cubbies. I want to do the cubbies for my setup but I, I tried to do that at Megacon. I don't know if I mentioned that before but I tried to do that at Megacon, make cubbies but uh, that didn't work out so I have to I'll probably experiment with my display a little bit more to show off the cubbies and make them a little bit more useful. But yeah, I'm getting a lot more inspiration just by sitting behind Elisa's boo. <laughs> wanted to say this one thing. Checked my numbers again. I am fortunate enough to report that I did make it over the thousands. Earned about 1100 to 1200 this weekend, which as a local, it's great. As someone who traveled outside, it may not be great because of other expenses. It's definitely a mixed bag, but for a local, I'm really happy with that. So again, thank you to everyone who came by to the booth. And I wanted to just say this right now that it really does depend on where you're from and your expenses. 1200 may, need, may mean nothing if you traveled all the way from Georgia or something like that. So, but I am happy with my numbers. I know I kept like going back and forth about how I feel about it, but now I'm just thinking, you know, for a convention that was really slow in traffic, the the fact that like I earned this much, I am content, but I do have to think about if I want to come back. So I'll probably talk a little bit more when I record the ending clip, but yeah, I wanted to just say that and thank you once again. You already know the drill. I'll see you guys back at the studio probably. Welcome everyone to this ending segment of the video where I talk about my thoughts and feelings about a convention and whether or not I would go again. So let's go ahead and get started. As a disclaimer, it has been a couple of weeks since I had Collective Con. That footage, all that footage was about a couple of weeks ago. So I am just now recording the ending clip. I do have myself to blame for that. So I apologize. Collective Con is one of those conventions where I basically want to give it a shot every single year because it does differ every single year. And low key, I don't really have an excuse because I live here and Collective Con is in town. So I kind of want to give it another try for next year. I'm still debating, but I think it's leaning towards a yes because it is, besides WasabiCon, it is one of the better conventions in town. I think I do want to give it a shot next year. I was really surprised that I even made it over the thousands. I think last year, I think the, this, the amount of money I made was only 600, 700. I completely forgot because it was such a low number that even anything 
would suffice at this point to really give an idea about how low of income I've gotten for profit. So I am just really surprised and grateful that I even made it over the thousands for this convention. I think I reported that I made about 1200 total cash and card. Thank you again for coming to this convention. It really does mean a lot, like I said earlier, that Jacksonville locals really do come out to see me. I don't normally do as many Jacksonville conventions anymore. I'm trying to branch out. I'm just trying to dip my toes into other cities across Florida and I'm trying to get into the Georgia area as well. But yeah, I'm just wanting to widen my audience a little bit, you know? Like widen my audience, think about other places I would like to visit as well, not just here in Jacksonville. For Collective Con in general, I'm very content with my numbers. I think I do want to go back for next year. I, I was, I'm still a little bit upset that they changed the layout for the artists where we're put all the way in the back away from the voice actors. Usually the voice actors are like the big ticket items or big ticket you know, events that are held at Collective Con. So the fact that they kind of just pushed us away from that, it made me upset. But at the end of the day, I was still really happy with the results. And I am always grateful to be able to see you guys, all my Jax locals, and of course the ones that are out of town as well. I don't have any conventions in April. However, I do have two in May. I have an amazement and I also have Otaku Fest. One of them is out of state, but Miami is a five hour drive, which I'm not happy about, but I gotta do what I gotta do. The next convention vlog actually that you guys are going to see is FreeCon, which is in Tallahassee at FSU. So you'll see that next after this convention or after this convention vlog. And then I don't have any more conventions until May. If you guys liked this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, I feel like I haven't like promoted myself like this before in such a long time. So if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. It really does mean a lot. And I am trying to continue to do these videos for you guys. I will always do more convention videos. I'm trying to push myself into doing more studio vlogs. So if you like anything like that, definitely subscribe. I would love to have you here. I believe that is it. I will go back to Collective Con next year. I'll give it one more shot. If for some reason it's not as good as this year, it might be one of those conventions where I'm just going to, you know, cut it off of my list. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see for 2025. Have a great rest of your day, y'all.